SMS to factor authentication gets a lot of controversy out there because what ends up happening is say you're a high target person and you use that for your bank account. What is, there's another group of hackers that is dedicated as social engineering with mobile carriers and they'll do what they call SIM swapping, right? Which is like, I convince AT&T that I'm you and now my phone is yours. So when you get that text message with your code, I get it and then I can replay it. It's still better than nothing, right? And this is what I say, any two-factor authentication is better than none, but the more events that you can go based on what your, 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 the applications allow you to, then I will select that, right? A lot of banks are getting pretty crafty of, they'll send you a notification to the app on your phone to allow the authentication. If you're already logged in using say the Chase app on your phone, uh, LinkedIn just did that before I started the stream, right? Where I have to say, yes, it's me. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, I think it's great because the user experience isn't that horrible. Mm -hmm. doesn't require you to be a computer geek to do it. Um, but that's usually the challenge of two factor is the higher you go, the more friction it creates with the user.